Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Noah. Welcome again. How is everyone doing today? I started this one yesterday, if you didn't see it. Um, we're just going to finish up the bottom and maybe do a little bit of touch-ups on the face, on our face. It is dry. So I could do like a whole second layer. We'll see how, we'll see how much I want to do. Um, overnight, I just put the extra paint um, on this little piece of tracing paper. So I'm just grabbing it back off. Um, most of these colors will be good. So it's titanium white, cadmium yellow. Ooh, the yellow ochre is always kind of sticky overnight. I usually replace it, but it doesn't feel too bad today. <laughs> it's 9.01. I'm sorry, I'm one minute late. <laughs> oh, well. I was setting up, getting all s sat down. Okay, that one, we'll leave it. That one is about as weirdly juicy as yesterday. Also, my hand's kind of shaky today. We'll see how well I can paint. Okay, this umber. That umber's fine. A little bit of black. I actually don't think I'm going to replace any of these. I'm just going to get started. And this little guy can go in the trash. <sighs> All right. <laughs> oh, I got... Oh, shoot. There's a little bit of ochre right on the middle. Um, so I'm not going to remix all of the face skin tone colors. I think I'm just going to do... A nice little blend for the blues and then for the reds. But I do need I do need this color uh, to make sure that they will merge together and not look like I did it in two separate days. Um, so I'm gonna grab some of this ultramarine. It doesn't go super dark. Like in this corner, it's pretty much just pure ultramarine with maybe just a little bit of black. So I'm not gonna do a dark version. I'm just gonna do a light version. Adding a little white. That'll be a good place to start. And then cad red with a little bit of burnt number for the shadows of the dress. Mary wears red. Um, because of the passion of Jesus, fun facts. Um, and she wears blue for heaven. Um, and generally, it's just, it's those two colors. I read somewhere that recently that um, some priest had pointed out that when Mary appears in apparitions often, she wears white and blue. But when she's painted and um, for like scenes from the Bible, so like the nativity or the ascension, the assumption, um, she wears red and blue. It's kind of interesting that like the outfit changes depending on um, whether she's coming down from heaven or um, like in the midst of the life of Jesus. Um, you know, I honestly think I'm just going to use those <laughs> three. I don't really want to sit around mixing paints too much today. I want to get started. Um, I'm going to get started with the... I don't want to do the blue. Oh, I forgot about this section. You know, we'll get there when we'll get there. I'm just going to start with the blue. I'm going to take pure ultramarine. No, I didn't switch them. They are, it's still this side's the painting and this side's the reference. Um, I just worked for probably about like half an hour more after you left um, for the evening. Um, just doing like a little bit more on touch up on the face so that uh, if it wasn't dry today, I would still be able to um, be happy with how far it got. <laughs> So now that the paint is actually well and truly drying, it has gone matte, so it's less, it's much less shiny. So the paint I'll put on today, you'll be able to see that it looks kind of um, more reflective. 
Um, and that's just because it's wet. I'm gonna have to mix the hair color again. Um, you can see the bit of her fingers here. <laughs> we'll leave that in. I always have high hopes that I don't have to <laughs> pre-mix a bunch of different colors. And then the minute I put the paintbrush to the canvas, I'm like, well, now I kind of want all of the colors that I usually pre-make. Um, I'm going to grab her a different brush. And her hair color back there. Okay, so it's really light. You can't see because the shadow, but it goes light there. I made it very light. Um, but I think I'm just going to do black and umber, the raw umber. Um, as a second layer, it's also kind of thin. I don't know if you can tell on there. It's kind of something in person it shows up better. Um, but there's still spots where you can see this, this is the, this orangey color is the wash that I did at the beginning of yesterday before I started painting. Um, and you can see it peeking through, <laughs> don't use the top of the brush. You can see it peeking through here and here, um, a little bit in the hair and in the background and definitely over here where I'm working. Um, and that gives it a, a nice unifying look um, to have a color underneath instead of for instance white. Um, so that's why I started with that base. I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but the base um, that I started with, um, I'm fairly certain. Usually I would just do, um, normal umber because it's a nice, you know, kind of semi-warm brown. Um, but I, this artist I know said that he just, and like other artists in the past, like Rembrandt, I think would do this, where just whatever paint was left on the palette from the day before, they would just mix together into one brownish, you know, ugly color, um, and then use that as the underpainting color. Um, cause it's a nice mix between everything you're going to use on top of it, um, which I've been kind of playing around and having fun with. And it saves paint because the paint that's left on the palette, especially that's mixed, um, dries out overnight and you can't use it again, which is very sad. So we can use it for, um, the underpainting. You save a little bit. All right. What am I doing? There's some really nice highlights in the hair that I want to add. Since I'm in here, um, evening out this background area. It's a little bit, a little bit scratchy with how I was doing the paint yesterday. Um, with each layer I'll do on top, which I won't be doing. I won't be doing more. But if I was doing this as a painting that I was gonna paint over a really long time and get it super accurate, super detailed, or if I wasn't using um, like this as a reference, um, and if I was doing it off a of photograph. I would definitely do multiple layers to slowly get to where I needed to go. Um, but you basically would stop being able to see all of the underpainting um, with each successive layer. Um, but on this one, you'll see it, you'll see it a little bit, which is a nice little touch. I kind of like how it looks when you can see it peeking out. All right, new brush. Maybe I'll just grab new brushes instead of mixing, pre-mixing colors. Okay, back with the ochre. Right, I think I used ochre, burnt umber for the hair. Um, uh, I didn't really uh, put too many highlights there. But this is an okay highlight color. Um, get a little bit of highlights here. I'll go back in with the brown in between, and then here. And that one's really shiny, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of white. A lot of white, a little bit more ochre. And there's two bits of highlights on here. Okay, I'm I made that go this way. It goes wait, it goes that way. Yeah. What color do I have on here? Is this an okay color for over here? This actually is not a bad color. 
for right there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of black because I know the skin next to it has black in it. Um, and that'll make it look like it belongs instead of just doing the, the three colors that I had in here earlier. It's actually much more burnt umbery. And perhaps a little bit of cad yellow. Hmm, that'll be okay for the base. And then I need a little bit of this warmer color under here where her shoulder shows through the veil. I'm looking at the difference in color in the skin and I have, like, I have a more purple pinky cast. This is unbelievably gray. <laughs> Which is so interesting. I know from like how the forehead and the cheeks still have the color that it probably was very intentional on Philippe de oh my gosh, Champagne um, to paint it very, just very blue. It's just one of those things that's very interesting. <laughs> Don't understand. Um, but it's really cool to actually analyze, you know, what are other artists use for skin tone. I'm going to try to, okay, I'm, currently I'm failing, but I'm trying to get back to this color so that I can blend this edge together, which is why I was thinking about how weird it is <laughs> and how I'm not really accurate, but I think I'm going to leave it. I don't want her neck to look, well, maybe I, we'll see what I feel. I want to finish the dress and the rest of the veil. I want to cover the rest of the canvas and then I'll go and do second looks at everything else. This is too light. I can already tell. Add a little bit more black. I think I was using, wait, I had a black. That's why it's warm. There's a little bit of alizarin in my black yesterday. Um, do I want to make it again? I don't want to make it again. We'll just carry on and just grab a little. I'm going to grab some CAD. And I do believe there was CAD yellow in there. And the cad yellow was making it go a little bit uh, gray as well. Because cad yellow plus black is green. Ivory black. Oh gosh. <laughs> Color mixing. <laughs> black is a blue when you use ivory black. When you use, I think it's Mars black is the one that's more of a neutral black. Um, and that one you would not use as a blue. You would use that as a, as a neutralizer. Okay, this, this color is still way too light. Um, I'm gonna add some of the umber. Cause that will neutralize the black. Some of the, you know, I'm actually gonna make a little pool of ochre in cad red. Cause I remember using that a lot yesterday. And I'm gonna grab this little, little dollop of Ochre that I had on the side. Good morning, everyone. If you could join a little bit later. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? On this lovely Wednesday morning. How's everyone's weather been? We've had great weather the past couple days. And it is making me quite happy. Oh yeah, that's the color I wanted to add here. Is that the right color though? Nope. Oh, but that's actually pretty good for this veil color. Mm -hmm. Maybe right on the edge. What did I even mix? I remember by the time I got to the neck yesterday, I was I had so many color mixtures on the palette that I was just dropping my brush in and mixing something up. 
Loki, no idea what I did here. Actually, okay, that, okay, this will be sufficient. This, this is, this is good enough. Um, I'm gonna not cheat, but use a brush and do a nice little blend so that you can't tell where one color ends and the other starts because it's a nice little, there we go. Um, but that should be enough paint that I can blend the, the rest of it together. So back to this little section right here. Which I'm not even sure. Is that just a, like a shadow of the veil on her? Like, ex like that's just... Or is that supposed to be like... No, because the dress doesn't do that on this side. Philippe, why? What were you doing? Okay, we'll just start with that kind of color. And then I need to add some, with that one's blue, this one is, this one's the black, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, add some burnt and raw umber. Right here, that actually wants to be lighter, but that's an okay start. Just trying to re-wet re the canvas with new paint. So that I can blend. But a nice trick is to use that, like that, what I just did over there, to use a clean brush um, and just pat it all down together. It's, assen it's essentially glazing. Um, but glazing, you would more likely add a medium to it. So, all well, depends on what medium. But there's like an oleo gel that's essentially clear pigment. Um, that keeps your oil paints. Oh, I just hit it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, you you would add something so that you can paint, but it's just fully transparent. Um, but also painting thinly is a similar kind of um, a glaze. Okay. The, well, well, well. <laughs> a little bit of linen is just gonna. That's just gonna be there. Okay, it's fine. Um, I need a white. Um, so I started with doing the the blue of her mantle and then immediately got distracted. No, <laughs> I'm trying to place in everything around it so that when I place the mantle, I can blend edges. Um, I don't know, just, uh, meh, meh. It's kind of easier in my head to, to do that first and to redefine the edges that I left at yesterday rather than just doing the blue. Also kind of because, here's a practical reason, because the blue is so vibrant that if I get my brush in it, it's gonna get everywhere. Um, it's gonna infect all of the colors. So I'll do all the neutral colors first and then go back and do the vibrant colors. It's definitely not because I'm easily distracted. <laughs> It it is it is I I am. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a little bit of hair here that I didn't get to highlight yesterday. I'll just oh, that's kind of too bright of a color. Where's that? Did I have a hair color? I think I had a hair color. I think it's this one. And it was. It was this one, right? Yeah. You would think with less mixtures on the palette, I would get less confused. Evidently, today, not the, not the case. Okay, I'm going a little bit too brown here, or um, ochre there. So I'm going to add some raw umber. Yeah, raw umber will be good next. So we start defining the shadows in the, in the sheer veil. Needs one on that side. Do do do. Do 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 do. 
so well okay that okay wow wow okay <laughs> oh fun so this sh this line is like curving in not at all what it's supposed to be doing so it wants to do that and then come out this way and then come back in and then i'm going to swap to <laughs> this brush we're going to swap to a new brush swap to a new brush grab that color again i added too much black to that or too much umber to that brush and i it's just no longer the brush that I wanted. Not the right color. So... Where go with this color? Yeah, that looks a little... Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of the amber. I wanted to blend... I need to fix this edge. And then it has a light spot in the middle. This is also really way too light. I'm going to grab the clean brush. Oopsies. And just gently tap on that. Make it thinner. Uh, I'm going to do that over here as well. just all in here got the whole thing covered whole thing smooth and then reassess shapes value and I was gonna say structure but that's kind of shapes okay um, I need darkness up here to blend into give me some paint this I don't know what this white line is get out of here this shape goes like that and in, and then like that, and then over, and then I'm going to wipe off. Oh good, I didn't get oil paint on the phone. Go like this, like da 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 do 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 do, tap 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 tap. I do like doing multiple layers on the Ala Primas. But I have to always remind myself that that's not really the goal. The goal is to learn how to uh, do it accurately the first try. So that I don't spend so much, um, as much time getting lost in the layering. Be more accurate on the first try. I am doing these as a sort of challenge. It is practice. I mean, at the end of the day, this is just, um, it's kind of just my sketchbook, honestly. I don't really have, I don't keep a sketchbook, um, mostly because I like oil painting too much. <laughs> Every time I thought to do a sketchbook, I'm like, well, I don't want to spend time drawing or whatever, which may or may not be a, bad, a good idea, but it is what it is, and these kind of provide a nice in-between, because these little 5 by 7 panels are relatively cheap they're meant to be like try out our panels and see if you like the linen and i'm like make all the paintings on them yes mm -hmm. um so they end up being kind of like my sketchbook so they're supposed to be not supposed to take all day but i also want them to look good okay this needs a little bit more of an in-between me mid-tone so I'm gonna grab some of the umber and mix it in. I'm gonna grab some of the, not not that, but we'll use it. Uh, the burnt umber. I mean the raw umber. I don't know why I get burnt and raw umber mixed up all of the time, but I do. Okay, this has like white in it. It's not as I've made it a bit too chromatic, so it's too saturated. And it wants to tone back down. So I've decided it is actually the shadow of her hair. So I want it to match the skin tone just a little bit better. I'll just move the skin tone way too far over. And I got the skin tone color, which I do believe is this brush. Oh no, that's too light. Okay, add some more darkness to that.
and then I wanted every time I hear the song now it's, I'm just like it's the one from my YouTube video This is actually <laughs> this is actually the playlist that I pull from for the, for the YouTube videos for sure. So one day I will wake up and it will just be all the songs I will have used. I will just only remember my YouTube videos. Um, why is this so blotchy? <laughs> what was I doing yesterday? Oh my goodness! Uh, but speaking of which, I'm dropping a new video on Friday. I'm super excited. And then if I can sit down and edit, I have another one planned for next Friday. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you are. Okay. I don't know why this is so blotchy, but it... Hmm. Adding a little bit of white into the umber and brown. Because I do believe there was some white in here. Maybe not, though. Actually, no. I was... Yeah, I definitely didn't add white down here. Whoops, please. Okay, so black and umber. We're just going to use just that. And then a little bit of alizarin. Yes, that's a good base. Okay. And then just pat that in. Pat, 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 pat. Do, 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 do. Okay, what does that look like? Oh, my hands in the way. Oh, I actually want to have that one up. Um, hmm. I think it does want more cad red in there, in that shadow shape. I'm going to some of the cad red umber mix. Throw it in here, and since I know it's kind of wet. I can get away with it not being exactly the color I want because I'm going to blend it in with the colors that are on the canvas. Got a little bit more white though because it looked a little dark. Okay. This is also not a bad color. It's not a good color either. Okay. Um, mm. Yo. Huh, her shoulder's going in the completely wrong direction. Look at that. It goes like this, and then it comes down instead of going up. Somehow I lost that. There we go. There we go. There we go. You're a bit? You should be able to. Last week was the time lapse of one of the paintings that I've done um, that took me many, many days. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the church that it's based off of. Or the church that I, it, it is. It's not based off. I just, like, I was there on pilgrimage and I painted it. Um, and sort of why I painted it. And then I talk about why we have tombs or relics in the altars. Um, and why the priest kisses the altar. Um, a little, like, semi-informational, also fun time lapse. And then this Friday is um, how, like, why I do Catholic art. Because it is a question. <laughs> Um, and then the week after, the one I have in the process is another of the time lapses. Yeah! The neck is longer. Yeah, the shadow is kind of messed up. 
I'll get there after I do some more of this. I want to fill in. I want this to... Mm. The song is so hype. <laughs> My brain is kind of too tired to appreciate it. Is it wet? Oh. Mm. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> that black is a little bit wet still. It looks really dry though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm glad you agree they look similar. I think they're going they're going pretty good. Um, I want, let's go back to the blue. Yeah. Um, I need, I wanted this to do that. I'm gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of black. Hair, O'Hare, what are you doing? Okay, it does want to have a little spot of that here. And then the, the hair thins right there. So I want to see blue in between. And then I want the black. Just a little bit there. In here and that that is light enough but it's not chromatic enough I need to go back in and add some bright warmth okay and then new brush I'm gonna use this the light mix that I made let's see how mm -hmm, that's very bright okay but that should be good for right here as a starter I'm gonna add just a little bit of umber and some more blue to make it darker. The umber so that it's just a little bit less vibrant. Tiny bit on the green side, which will help make it blend and bounce off the rest of the painting. I have a feeling that once I put these brighter colors in down here, the whole skin color is going to appear to look different. And there may or may not be regrets. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. I think it's less than it needs to be lighter. I think this is pretty close. It's that the, the shadows aren't right. Also, there's something wrong with the chin right there. Okay, we're gonna stop looking at the face <laughs> before I start getting really distracted and never actually finish the this bottom part. First goal of today is to cover the canvas. Then we reassess the face. Okay, I need more blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to go back to the blue blue brush because that one's got too much white in it. And then pull the shade back out.
why did I make the YouTube channel? Um, <laughs> something I've always kind of wanted to do. <laughs> You're fine now. Um, it is something I've always wanted to do. I used to love watching YouTube videos as a kid. And um, there's a lot of artists I followed when I was um, in grade school and high school. Um, and I just found time lapses to be absolutely fascinating. Um, so something I always kind of wanted to do, I've been thinking about doing for quite some time, but I didn't want to just do straight time lapses. Um, cause kind of everyone does that. Uh, and then I was thinking a few months ago, I was like, what if I just talk about like random Catholic stuff? <laughs> um, and like why I painted, you know, whatever I painted. Um, cause I also, I loved, there's a few people who would just like narrate whatever they were thinking about while they drew. Um, and that always just like, I don't know, I always liked that. So it's kind of been in the works, you know, you could say since childhood, because I've always liked it. Um, but then it kind of all worked out that it, now is a good time to do it. Um, and I did kind of want to live stream my, my paintings. They kind of, both ideas came together at the same time. Um, this live in-person um, thing, as well as the actual, you know, YouTube videos. That's it. I know the shirt's light. I'm working on it. <laughs> so I'm losing the shapes. I think it needs just a little bit of uh, CAD red in it. To pull it just a little bit more into the purple. Uh, and more. That was going to be way too bright. Okay, that goes out too far for sure. But I want to blend this side. I'm going to grab the cleaner brush, which at this point is not super clean, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to pull Then go back in with the dark brush, wipe it off a little bit, and figure out what actually the shape is doing. Like that, and then it kind of folds in and does another little divot like that. And then it angles down a little bit there. Yes, the music is intentional. <laughs> it's quiet though, I know. You can turn it up, I guess. Or you can turn your sound up. Um, Cause on my side, it is kind of loud already. Also, the song. The song is on the quieter side, so I, yeah, I'm not gonna change it. curves instead of going straight up on a diagonal. Not that much, not that much. Okay, I'll turn it up one. I don't want it to be too- oh, that's, <laughs> that was the down button. Okay, but there's some songs in there that are louder, so I'm gonna end up having to shout.
It's like a 50-50 mix of louder songs and quieter songs. Okay, wait, mm, I just did that wrong. Okay, I need the lighter color. Okay, good. Cool. Thanks for letting me know, though, that uh, you can hear it. Keep trying to play with the levels. Mm -hmm. Just kind of fuzzing the edges. to the red and then come back and work both together. Okay, that's definitely going to need some umber in it. It is too light and too chromatic. And it's like a little nice edge right on in between the two. That is, that, there is no way that that's actually, <laughs> great, okay, there's no way, that line is just wrong, um, because the shirt curves like that and then comes over, and the neck should continue down there. All the way, all right. I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, there's a way that I can get the audio to play like direct. Cause right now it's just playing from my speaker and it's the phone is catching it um, when I'm not talking. Um, but it wasn't working when I tried it last time <laughs> to, to play the desktop audio as well as give it to me. Um, but I'll have to look into that. Where did that hair go? I just saw a little bit of hair. There, oh, it's still there. Get off the canvas. Yeah, also right now it's a very quiet song. Just, just if you were wondering. <laughs> um. I'm gonna grab some of the ochre with the red. Lighten it up. And do that, and then there's this edge. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. Then maybe it's fine. Okay, I need a new brush. And then I need to do the lighter color to fill in. I'm gonna add a little bit of ochre to it as well, since that was nice. Um, to make it just a slightly bit orange. Oh, that's gonna be too bright. Okay, so grab some of that umber. Ah, 
Ah, that's better. I just heard a very strange sound from outside. <laughs> Okay, that is supposed to be super light. This little edge is really making my brain hurt. Grab the dark shadow. And then go back to that other brush. Okay. That needs a bit of a gray shadow on it. And then I'm just going right over where I want it to put the light. Yeah, that's fine. Grab some white for the highlights. That goes up farther. Okay, just like zoned in. What is that edge doing? I think I just drew it very wrong. Midterm version. A little bit of shadow on that side. Oh, I didn't paint any of the skin right there. I only did that on this side. The edge is kind of messed up. Let's grab the, this color and see if I can match. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. color for here. It's a bit of it right on this edge. And then the, well, there's also a bit of it that comes down this way. That I kind of neglected to paint. 
And then the fingers, the fingers, the fingers. Do I even... Yes, I'll paint the fingers, I guess. <laughs> I nearly just deleted those. Um, that'll be good practice. Uh, I want... Maybe I'll do the pink highlight here. Put a little of the... A little bit of the cad yellow. Have that be the highlight side. And then... Mm, new brush. New brush, new brush. Grab this warmer color. Drop it in on the warmer side. Grab a little bit of the umber. Drop it as a shadow and a fade. No, oh, oh, okay, well now they're like really too far apart. You know what? No. Nope, nope, nope. Not today, I didn't. Okay, that's not actually doing anything. Give me this clean brush. You cannot see enough of that to actually matter. We're just gonna pretend it doesn't exist. And then a little bit on this side. And then fix the shape. It's a bit too bright. And I need that red to fix the other side. Um, I need, I need umber in that red. And a little bit of black, I think. Okay, and then this curve is lost and then the neck is also again a little off. Grab some of sort of at the transition that's actually that's pretty close to that transition color. But it wants to be darker. To cut in and get this shape a little more accurate. Red down there. This comes up a little bit higher. Perhaps a lot bit higher. Higher. What's going on here? This goes up and then down there. And then this wants to be a little bit darker on this side. And then I'm darker on the bottom. And then blend it in. And it adds a little bit there. also kind of too bright. It needs to be lighter. Let's grab the highlight color. And just lay a little bit of it in. And then this actually, oh, this, this, this entire highlight section has been destroyed. Okay. 
going up and down. Over. And then I think I need, a, I need, I need almost like straight white for these highlight accents to really pop. This edge almost needs to disappear. And then this line. That transition needs to be smoother between the neck and the dress. And then, oh, that wasn't the brush that I wanted to use, but it is now this. It's just like in the wrong spot. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I really hate ruffles. That's a bit better. And then this highlight goes out too far. And now it's too dark. Okay, what else is what are the big problems? Okay, well first off, this does not go down, it goes over. Um, yeah, this is the brush that I was supposed to be using as a medium. So let's grab a little bit more of the medium color. What am I, what am I trying to do with this highlight? All right, it simultaneously needs to be darker and lighter. Don't sh sh gotta love it. I think it just needs to be lighter. And this needs to not be so dark right on the edge. It needs to match almost the value of the neck. Right here. There. I think it just goes up too high. Okay, is it necessary? We're gonna table it. I want the blue, darker blue. needs to move down. Okay, no, I need the other brush.
do 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 do. All right. These little white bits. Oh, I almost just put blue on the red. Um, these little white bits are a little incorrect. But the question remains, do I care? I think today, I think it's close enough. Because at a certain point, I just make the painting itself look good rather than making it look perfect. So I was gonna do, if I was gonna do like a, tr a true master copy, which is the fancy term, <laughs> Okay, it's, it's not the fancy term, don't get this wrong. But it's the fancy term for a forgery, essentially. You just sign the back and you say it's a master copy, not the actual original. And you can't sell it as the original, obviously. Um, but that way you're trying to mimic the, ex the entire process of the artist. So if they layered it and did indirect painting and painted in glazes and layers, you would do that as well. Um, but this is more of a study than a master copy. Just doing a... Um, a la prima, which is not what Philippe would have done. But it is also kind of a master copy as well. I mean, the, the term applies because the goal is to make it look really close. Um, <laughs> fun facts, I suppose. Um, am I going to try to fix the chin? Yeah, because it's really bothering me. Okay. Wait, the whole paint? The whole canvas is covered. Whole canvas is covered. Another painting today? Um, no. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, it's already 10. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be a short stream. I'm probably not gonna go to noon today. Um, and then I'll start a new painting tomorrow. Um, I got some other things that I gotta do. The abruptness of this, the cheek transition. If it goes too far over. I'm trying to decide if I can actually fix that and get those colors back or not. I think I can. Well, actually, no, I just, I'm gonna try. Um, make a little bit of that, grab a little bit of the black, grab a little bit of the cad red. Is that wet? Is that the line I did today? Yes, that was wet. Ask away. I see you. No, no, that's distracting. <laughs> oh, I just like cracked my hip. I wonder if that showed up on, if you could hear that. It was really loud. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna try to mix that shadow color, but make it a little bit more vibrant and then sort of glaze it in by just using the paint thin. Let's be that, a little bit maybe more of the umbers. Oh, that was way too much umber. That's gonna be 
too late. I'm prepping. This line is a line of prep. Uh, and now I'm gonna grab the filbert that's clean and pat it in, making it go really thin so that it blends with the underneath. Is it gonna do what I want it to do? Not really. Yay. It's kind of interesting though. Um, let me grab a bit of a darker color. And go next to that. What is going on with her neck? Oh, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Why am I getting commercial flashbacks with this song? actually use it a commercial or not. Does anybody know? <laughs> it's starting to drive me crazy. Not this part, just the beginning of it. Um, this is just kind of depositing a little bit of the color everywhere. It's not working super well. So, oh, that was too light. Oopsies. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just add a little bit more paint. It's fine. It's fine. That. Then this kind of comes up a little bit further. That was not supposed to be red. Question of the day, will I ruin the painting or will I make it look better? Nobody knows. This is adding a warm glow that just does not exist in the original. But I kind of like it. Kind of looks like there's a candle, perhaps, on the other side. Okay, adding more of the umber. What's going on with the ear? Okay. Doo -doo -doo. That didn't really change the, the shadow shape. I don't want it to be ochre. I want it to have white in it. Delicately on the edge. Okay. Sure. That was really loud. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, nope, I don't want that there. It's fine. Sometimes painting is frustrating. Because that was all the same color that I just placed down, and it decided to come out as three different colors. Because of the colors that were around it. Ooh, don't pull out the iPhone. This is way too much, um, and everything but white and black. <laughs> Just all of the colors, too much of it. Oh, that's not the right color either. Okay, it does want to be a little bit lighter there. Grab more white. A little bit more white. Too much white. Hmm. Oh, well, there's a lot of paint on this brush now. Starting to go where I don't want it to go. This is just a vastly different color now. In doing a second layer down here, I'm making the thinness up here look kind of weird. Not sure if like you can even tell on the camera. Ooh, that's not the right color. Ah! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's way too. That's way too dark. Ah! <laughs> we are devolving this morning into insanity. All right, that's just that's just act, like actually wrong. Okay, uh how do I want to fix this? <laughs> okay, new brush. White, pink, a little bit of yellow. Okay. If I blend those two together, it should come out okay. A little bit of the ochre red. No, not the ochre red. That's going to be way too red. A little bit of black and umber. Probably putting it up in there. Okay, now we blend. Hmm, it's a puzzle. Wait, which was the brush that I was just using? This one, I think? Yeah. Okay. That is more or less acceptable. We're not, mm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then down here, okay. <laughs> Just really dropped that paintbrush. Doop, 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 doop. This is a very dark color. Yeah. Okay. Let's 
sort of in-between color. And that's not the brush I want. Where's the brush I want? Where is the brush that I want? I think it's this one. The one I used as the adjustment up here. I'm going to bring some of that warmth down here. Mm, this is probably not the brush I wanted. But it'll do. New softening brush. Okay, that's still too light in the shadow part. Depo oh, that's not even darker. I'm gonna deposit a little bit. That's way too dark. But that's good. I'm trying to mix right now. I want it to be a warm, dark shadow that isn't too dark, that isn't too warm. That will be that perfect blend between these two areas. I think I want to add more black. like a little divot and I don't think I think that'll help define it as a as a divot rather than like a full shadow adding just that little spark of darkness but now this the light shape is too... Every word that just went through my head was not the word that I wanted. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, whatever. That, that, that's what I wanted it to do. More or less. I think I need a little bit more light up here. Probably gonna be too much. I'm just barely moving this paint around. So yes, it does look like I'm doing nothing. <laughs> not not inaccurate at all. Okay. But it is very slightly putting a little bit of paint everywhere. Which is the goal. And then this needs to, this highlight needs to come up a little farther. I got too much darkness on it. And then the eyebrow, what is that eyebrow doing? What if I do this? It's too dark. That's better. And then coming down like that. Tap it in. A stray little bit of whiteness there. Okay. 
okay. And then it wants to come up just a tad. Thinking. Lots of staring at the end page parts of the painting. Because there's things I see that are wrong. But I have to figure out how to make it look right. And there's some things that are just too far gone. That Cupid's bow, though. Needs that. Maybe not that. I think that's not the right color. What was the color that I mixed for that? Okay, and then I want that darker color. This is probably too dark. And then blend. So I added a highlight or like a chromatic something or other under the nose and I'm not liking it anymore. So I'm going to add a little bit of the darker right on top and then define this shape a little bit more because this is an actual cast shadow being done by the nose and while it kind of fades down here it does you know, it needs a little bit more there and then this fade needs to have a smoother transition right here. And a little bit of orange. Okay, and then blend that. See how I feel. Okay, the nose could have a smoother transition down the bridge. Oh, not, not with that color though. Maybe with this color. Blend, blend, blend. That under chin area. Okay, this brush is not the brush I wanted. I want something with a discolor. A warm shadow. <clears throat> wow, okay, my voice just kind of died. Alright, I think I'm just gonna call it... Just call it done. There's some parts I still wanna... I could fix, but... At this rate, it's just such tiny changes that I don't even know if it's worth it to keep going. At some point, you gotta call a painting done. And I think I'm gonna call it done here. Cool! Alright, so, tomorrow I will do a new painting. I haven't decided which one yet, but I'll do a new painting. And this time lapse of these two days together will come out 
probably tomorrow as the post on Instagram if you want to see it all together at like 25,000% speed. Um, but yeah, thank you all for joining. A little bit of a short day. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.